Hey everybody, what's up? Spongebob, that's what's up. The Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run, the third technically theatrically released movie in the Spongebob franchise. I know that it was released in a couple of theaters around the world, so technically I would consider it as a theatrical release. So yeah, the third Spongebob theatrically released film, uh, far, it didn't actually release uh, in theaters in my region unfortunately because because of uh, COVID but um, yeah uh, fortunately for me this week or maybe even the uh, previous week I can't even remember which one but we it recently dropped on Netflix and it's one of the numbers uh, it's one of the top 10 movies uh, streaming uh, in my region and so I figured well I was gonna see this in the theater but I figured better late than never and uh, maybe I should just watch it and maybe hopefully review it maybe hopefully people will watch it and what well I've watched it, and wouldn't you know it, it might actually be my favorite movie of the year so far. And I know that's not really saying much because, you know, 2020, a lot of the movies we didn't really, we were supposed to to, uh, to see by now haven't been released, and those that have been released um, were, you know, straight to, to streaming or to digital, but uh, yeah, so a lot of the movies that I was going to see this year I haven't actually seen, so maybe this movie wouldn't have been one of my favorite uh, movies, but yes, this movie, for right now, I need to sleep on it, but right now it has overtaken The Gentleman as my number one favorite movie of the year, and also my number two favorite movie of the year, uh, Mulan, and my number three movie of fa favorite movie of the year, Eurovision. So yeah, this movie sits very firmly in number one at the moment. Maybe I'll need to watch it again just to uh, uh, reevaluate whether or not I liked it or not. But overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I have been a SpongeBob fan ever since I was a little kid, and uh, I have kind of dropped out of uh, SpongeBob in recent years. Eventually, they got to a certain point where the episodes were just too ridiculous, and SpongeBob has always been a ridiculous. Uh, franchise. I mean, it's a talking sponge. Like seriously, he lives under. He lives in a pineapple, and he's, his best friend is a sea star. And his pet is a snail. Like, and he's working at a burger place for all for for heaven's sake. So yeah, it's always been a ridiculous franchise. For some reason, some of the the later seasons, after seasons two and to a certain degree three, just got more and more ridiculous and just. It, it wasn't for me anymore. It's just not to say that it was too childish for me. I mean, I still enjoy um, the first couple of seasons. I, I still watch them, uh, them uh, in succession uh, if I get a chance to. But some of the newer ones, I never really uh, gravitated to it. So I figured maybe I should just watch this movie without having watched any of the other seasons. Just to see if I still like this franchise or not. And what do you know? I loved it. I mean, it, it felt... A lot like the SpongeBob of old, the SpongeBob that I grew up with. Not necessarily the SpongeBob that's uh, playing in televisions still to this day, right now. I mean, it felt more like the old SpongeBob as opposed to some of the newer stuff that I've seen. And I loved all of the references to the episodes that I've known. I'm sure that if I kept on watching it and saw all the other episodes, I would have picked up on a lot of other references and Easter eggs uh, to those episodes, but because I haven't, it didn't really bother me, but the movie just it was so funny. It was able to capture the magic that made me fall in love with SpongeBob in the first place, as opposed to um, the weirdness that drove me away from it uh, at the end. Maybe one day I'll, I'll just uh, do a, a complete binge of all the SpongeBob seasons that have been uh, since uh, I stopped watching regularly. I haven't even watched the second movie yet, so uh, yeah. But fortunately for me, the SpongeBob movies are kind of like the episodes. I mean, they're all basically standalone anthologies that you don't really have to watch and to watch one in order to understand the other. This one in particular, you might kind of need to watch the first theatrically released film, but overall, I really enjoyed it. First of all, it was I really liked the concept of the movie. It's a guy has a pet and he loves that pet. His pet gets you know, kidnapped and it's not a spoiler because it's in the trailers. His pet, Gary in this case, gets kidnapped and he has to go on a, a, across the country to try to find it and bring it back. It's the same formulaic movie we've seen a thousand times over, but this time it has a SpongeBob skin on it and with the, spon the, the uh, SpongeBob 
humor that I really enjoyed and it just has, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, it has this magic touch, the jokes really, um, really landed for me, none of them fell flat like some of the newer stuff, it didn't really seem too, what's the word I'm looking for, too, too gross like some of the, uh, the newer, uh, oh, too weird, too outlandish like the, some of the more modern uh, Spongebob jokes. I really enjoyed all the cameos in it and yes there is more than one cameo. We have seen a cameo in one of the trailers in the form of Keanu Reeves as uh, the wise sage. He was really good in it. I, I thought it was going to be just a, a five minute cameo scene and he was done. But no, he was actually in there for a lot more than I was expecting and I really enjoyed and thrilled seeing Keanu Reeves on screen. Now I'm not really the biggest Keanu Reeves fan in the world, to be honest with you, I really didn't like him in Point Break. The the um I I liked the first John Wick movie, but I never actually felt compelled to uh to watch any of the sequels. I really enjoyed B the Bill and Ted movies. There is the first two, but I never really been a Keanu Reeves fan, which is kind of sad to me because it's, uh, from everything that I've heard, he's one of the sweetest human beings you'll ever get to see, and his personality really shines through in this movie. As far as the other cameos, I'm not going to uh, uh, talk about them too much because they're meant, they're kind of meant to be surprised, I believe. But I mean, like, I guess the movie's been out for a while now, so you probably should have seen them. Regardless, the, the other cameos that were in this movie, the celebrity cameos, were amazing and unexpected and were also t and most of them took place in this um, unexpected sequence that you just, we weren't seeing, you didn't really see coming, but it was, it was so great and funny and it like I said it really spoke to um, the, the true pure nature of Spongebob that really drew me, drove me into the franchise in the first place. Now obviously there have been a couple of retcons with this but I mean it's not like the Spongebob has ever actually kept any sort of continuity. I mean there's there's like a King Neptune in the show, which is completely different from another King Neptune, which was in the first movie, which is drastically different from the King Poseidon that we see in this movie. So yeah, it, 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 there's no real actual continuity to this franchise, which is kind of what makes this franchise so lovable and adorable at the same time. So yeah, I really enjoyed... Um, well, the retcon didn't really uh, took me out of it. I mean, it, at first it was like, that's not how it happened. But then I realized, you know, it's it's SpongeBob. It's a it's an animated franchise for kids. And if you really if you liked the final product and the journey that it, that the heroes went on and the laughs you had, that really that's really all that really matters. So yeah, I really enjoyed SpongeBob. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. It didn't exactly draw, make me want to rewatch all the episodes that I missed. I might sit down and watch the second movie, which I haven't seen. So yeah, that's all I have to say at the moment. Anyways, I really enjoyed this movie. I highly recommend people watch it. It's it's streaming on Netflix right now in my region, so maybe you guys can find it yourselves on um, whatever streaming platform you chose uh, to uh, to use. So that's just my quick brief thoughts on the movie. And, uh, yeah, what did you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below if you have seen that movie or if you're excited to see that movie. What are your thoughts about on, on Spongebob in general? I, I also would very much love to know. So, thank you all for watching uh, this. Uh, and, uh, well, I'll see you guys next time some movie decides to drop on Netflix. Because that's really the only way I can see movies these days. Unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Hello again everybody, I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.